kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on Facebook Native Ad with Recycler View in Android Studio. All right, so uh, now we will continue from where we had left from the part three. So yes, uh, we will first of all open our main activity dot Java file, and first of all we have to implement uh, an interface, and that interface will be of the native ad bad manager. So for this, first of all, without wasting any time, let's get started. So here we first of all will write implements, and here we will have native ad. Manager dot listener, and then we have to uh, implement uh, the method on ads loaded and on ads error. Okay, so for this you have to press Alt Enter and press. You have to select implement methods, and then we have these two methods on add error and on ads loaded. So we have to press OK, and yes, you can see now we have these two uh, these two methods here and uh, but first of all we need to have some uh, variables which objects which we need because we need to uh, create the object of our native ad manager and then we have to load the ads and set the listeners so for this first of all we will say native ads manager and we can name it as a native ads manager and then we will copy that and what we are going to do after right after this we can say native ads manager equal to new native ad manager and first of all we have to provide the current context so in this case our current context is main activity dot uh, this then we have to uh, input our placement id so for the placement id we can create them inside our uh, string so here we can say string and uh, native ads unit id and then we can pass on the id something here and then here we can simply say this dot get resources dot get string and from this we can pass on r dot string dot native ads unit id and then we need to pass on the uh, num ads requested so you have to pass on the integer value uh, like after how many items you want to print your uh, you can say how much you want to print the ad how many times so for this here for now we will write let's say we write four and okay so now we have the native ads manager object so now we can simply load the ad so in order to load the ad we can say native ad manager dot load ads okay so now the load will be added and then we can set the listener for this native layout manager so for this we can simply say native layout uh, sorry the native ads manager dot set listener and we can pass this current context here all right so after this what we are going to do we are going to write the code inside our own ads loaded and on add error and then we have to open and go to our own ads loaded and from there we just need to write adapter okay so i think we have not created the adapter or yes so we have not added or used the my adapter here so we will do that now so here we will create the object of our my adapter class so here we can say adapter all right and then we can simply say here adapter equal to right after we add all the data and here we can say adapter equal to new my adapter and here first of all we have to pass on the current context and then we need to pass on the array list so we can simply pass our array list and then we can simply say recycler view dot set adapter and we can pass the adapter object here alright so I think you are understanding it's very easy uh, and we just we are just uh, setting the adapter to our recycler view and we have passed on this current context and array list because here you will see we will receive the context and array list and we will do the further processing here in our, in our next part of the video 
all right so what we are going to do now here uh, inside our main activity uh, in our own ads loaded we only need to write adapter dot notify data set change all right so now we have their notify data set change and then there is another thing which we are going to do is so we have to pass on the native ads manager object to our adapter then so here we can pass on native ads manager so there it is showing us error so we have to write the code here so here we can say native ads manager and we can pass native ads manager then here we have this and finally we can say this dot native ads manager equal to native ads manager all right so now we have this and now you will see that the error has been removed and then the next step is we have to over go to our main uh, to our my adapter class and here we have to write the code for our further and okay so first of all we have to write uh, the class for our basic you can say the item because we uh, in our recycler view we, we will have uh, we will have two type of views so first of all it the views will be of ad the facebook ads and the second view type will be of the normal or of our data okay so here what we are going to do first of all we have the get item count we have get item view type and here we are going to have a class so we can say public class and here we can say my own view holder and we can extend it with recycler view dot view holder and here we will just we have to use the default constructor so we have to pass create constructor super matching and okay so now we have to first of all create a layout because we already have the layout for our native ad but for our own data so we have to use a lean um, a resource file so here we can say suppose my own data item okay and let's make sure that it is the root element is the linear layout so we press ok and here what we are gonna do we have to use wrap content then we only need to use a text view and it will be match parent and the height will be wrap content then we will have the id as text view then we will have the text style then we will have the margin sorry so for the margin we can say 20 dp then we can say text size will be 20 sp so that it will be a big a bigger one then we can okay so i think that is enough so but if we write any text here so there you will be able to see this hello here so we have the text view so we have to go to our my adapter and here we can say public text view and we can say text view then we have to bind the views for this we can say text view equal to item view dot find view by id then we can say r dot id dot text view and yes we have this uh, view holder class then what we are going to do as you can see we have the array list here then we have to create a new array list inside our adapter class so for this what we can do let me see yes so now inside our uh, my adapter class we are first of all going to use uh, or create another we have to use some variables so for this we can say private static final int and we have the add display frequency then we will have okay so it is showing me as error okay so i think that we have to rule right so we have like for add display frequency then we will have private 
static final int then we will have post type it will be zero and we will have another one static final int uh, type it will be one all right and then what we are going to do we have to use a list here so for this we can say list and we will have the native add or uh, the uh, list will be of type native add and we can say m uh, add items so we will can initialize that inside our constructor so there we can say m add items equal to new array list and yes right and after this what we are going to do here well we will write the uh, the further code inside our last part of the video series so right now in this video we will i will write only code here inside our get item count and get item view type all right so uh, this will be the second last video and you have to watch the last part of this video series so i hope that you understand all the concepts that are used so here without wasting any time we have the get item view type here and we have to write the code so here we can say re uh, return position and we will have percentage and we have add display frequency then we can say equal to zero and we can say position is not equal to zero at type the else it will be post type alright so that's how it works and yes then we have the get item count method so for the get item count method we can write Here we will have the array list dot size and we can say plus m at items dot size. Alright, so now there we have completed the code for this video. So you have to watch the final part of the video series to complete this. So guys, if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.